Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gladius Relics of War or I'm a 40k my name is Saiken and today we're continuing getting pounded by these war machines we have a front of uh, these nasty nasty Kesselian Roberts just moving into our territory and the heroes uh, chaplain as well as our captains are trying their very best to just Keep them at bay but we do have five robots here two robots there and i'm just waiting for the next fortress of redemption to come down so we are in dire dire straits it's not looking great uh, but i think it's a fair summary of what we're finding at the moment welcome back to the 40 40 millennia 41st millennia and uh, where the times are dark and desperate And as you can see, the enemies know fair well whom to focus. That regenerates some of their health as well. And they essentially just leveled up. Great. Fan fucking testing. Alright, moves to here. We're going to give ourselves extra zealous attacks. And we're going to focus this sucker. We could heal ourselves, or we're dealing some damage. Problem is, we won't out heal them, not right now. Which means this guy really, really needs to take a lot of damage. Moving down here, next turn we're going to support uh, the front line further. Space Marines at this point are unfortunately a commodity. They can be thrown into the meat grinder. I hate to say it, but that is unfortunately just how it is. We are running out of reclusium, which are the resources that we actually need. I hope that the Devastator Space Marines will make all of the difference because we are in dire straits. Okay, I think I've done all I can at this point. Someone has to take the damage and this time it's our hero we're going to move back heal ourselves and then we're just going to wait for more healing outside here Slightly moving to here. This guy is almost dead, but almost dead. It's unfortunately, not dead yet. If I get you guys involved, they will die immediately. So we're going to hold them back for now. Four more turns until the next. Until the next fortress can come in. As it stands, we do have a problem. Good. What are we going to build? Well, we need more income. And some of the income must be influenced because at, at the moment, really, our heroes are carrying most of the weight. So might as well put all of our eggs in one, uh, all of our eggs in one basket and go with the heroes. The librarian is one of them. And the turn. Oh, he's moving back. We're 
are taking damage in return. Interesting. This guy is ripe for a killing. Can't just reach him fully. Moves out and begins to heal himself. Thanks to his skills, he can heal even a bit faster. No more reserves, but I think we got our first pack of Devastator Marines. There we go. These guys should be efficient against uh, these big robots. So we need more resources, 60 to be precise. Well, at the moment we don't have additional resources, so we got to make do with what we do have. Our heroes are slowly but surely healing themselves up and we need to kill this guy here stupid robot still has five hit points left Okay, I'm willing to sacrifice the marines here to get this robot down. I know that this is going to suck. But we need to kill them. A little bit of healing, a lot of experience. We've just leveled up, get more loyalty. And we could get better right, rights of war. 20% uh, damage looks promising to me. Uh, we only have two enemies here. Can we take that? Got six hit points. We're not taking a lot of damage. Yeah, we, we need to deal damage, that's the problem. Devastate the Marines are moving in. Don't even have enough resources to produce further but we got one more down so i think there are only four more robots here and two there slowly very slowly oh he survived oh he survived oh he survived Moving all the way to here, super far away. Would love to take that. Can we can we take the punishment though? I think we cannot. Fortress almost down. Continuing to focus on this one robot. Okay, let's see. 3.7. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Good damage. And limited uh, return damage. I like it. nice very nice okay cool so what else can we do currently building 
could build a couple of uh, these space marines, but I want the dest uh, destroyer space marines. Lost our fortress. That's bad. But I can tell you what's less bad. Getting a new fortress. This time further here. Claiming this. Seven point four points of damage. Yes. Thank you. Finally someone who gets it. Moves in. Lots and lots of influence. More XP and level ups. Oh, oh, everybody got a level up. Okay, nice. So we're going to go for healing search rank 2. We're going to go for healing search rank 2 and... I would ask you to heal yourself. Look at that. Three points of healing. Beautiful. Never underestimate the power of pure and utmost healing. These guys are moving back and I would want to heal. They need to continue to heal as well. And it's not looking that bad anymore. I think we need to build at least hmm, some form of energy because we're negative in energy. Starting to do that. Okay, well. Tough tits. We are taking a lot of damage here. Move up and we're ready to heal ourselves. But before we're doing that. Let's take this guy down. Nice. The Devastators are doing a beautiful job. That's exactly what uh, the kind of enemy, uh, the kind of units that we needed. Good. Self-healing. Nice. Three points of self-healing. I love it. One more healing. Next turn we're moving in and giving everybody that damage bonus. One more round of healing the Space Marines. These are the older Space Marines. They are already level 4. Don't want to lose them on their way to level 5. Have been there from the beginning. Okay, more robots are coming. Finally, we got a new option, the librarian. Well, let's build this guy. And whilst we're here... Yeah, we need energy at the moment. Not good. Well, what else can we build? So, Devis, uh, chapter tactics that increases accuracy of Devastator Space Marines. It's cool. Hunter. Uh, that specializes in taking down flyers. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we don't have that many flyers at the moment. Increases bolt damage weapon. Melter bombs. Tactical Space Marines. Assault Space Marines. Devastator Space Marines. Melter bomb that is highly effective against heavy vehicles and fortification. That's exactly what we need. Uh, building that constructs new buildings. Oh, that's good as well. Okay, let's start with the orbital relay. Need to heal back here. These guys are fully healed and are ready to move in. 18 hit points. 
move to here. Give everybody a nice little bonus rights of war. Nine points of damage, that's what I'm talking about. Let's kill him. That's sweet, sweet 16. Um, sweet, sweet 16 uh, influence right there. Just for the kill. And we are currently increasing loyalty. Because with higher loyalty, we're also getting all of the resources as a bonus. That's important. Moving to here. Now you can see there is a shop icon and we can now start to shop for big nice items. So, 100% healing rate, 3 hit points max, that's good. Powered gauntlet, increases melee damage, that's good as well. Item that prevents the unit from being targeted by Overwatch doesn't really matter. I want really big armor. So let's take a look. We want an uncommon item. Adamantine vest, two extra armor, cost 80. Okay. Uh, item that restores the morale of units and all units nearby. Not bad. Increases the damage of next melee attack by 50%. Not worth 80, I think. Item that increases the melee damage. Okay, that's good. Stun grenade, not bad. I know that one already. No overwatch. Witch fire damage reduction and 100% healing rate and uh, 3 hit points max. Hmm. So how many hit points do we have? We got only 10 hit points, so 3 would be a lot. Alright, 3 hit points, there you go. And now that costs 80. But it's passive, I think it needs to be activated. We don't have the activation cost yet, but that's fine. Okay, we're going to check that for now. More damage is good. Okay, well, so far things are looking better. Boy, that was an invasion, if there ever was one. And we're not out of the woods yet, as you can see. Our captain here is still under heavy fire. Uh, we're going to move him over here so that he blocks off that field. Takes the, uh, the overwatch, that's fine, and then decides to heal. There you go, just like that, back to half health. Lovely. Alright, continue to attack. The grenade would do a fraction of what the melee attack would do. So we're continuing with melee attacks. Move in. Okay, so this is a bit dangerous, but I'm willing to take that gamble.
Focus fire. It's all about focus fire. Good. What are we going to do here? Still can't do anything. We need more energy, elsewise the whole system will collapse and we definitely, I want my resources back. Good, end of turn. Look at that. Finally, the ugly beast rears his head and you can also see the orc has already started to take these resources here, so it's really no point for us to move in. Good. We need to fill these guys back up. They have taken so much return fire. They're already almost depleted. Level 6. Get him down. Bam. Lots of experience. Unfortunately, this guy was out of experience range. Level 4. More Deeds of Glory. Uh, we're level 5, but this will not make a lot of difference, so rather go back and start healing again. These robots are really, really, really tough. We're not going to push any further here. If we're now running into the orc, well, this is going to be suicidal. And I assume he has already captured half of the map. I want my uh, bottom area here. And then we're going to push further to the north. Hopefully we can ignore the orc for a while. All right, end turn. Well, so much for ignoring the orb, right? Okay, and of course, they are coming with not only one, but a couple of enemy, uh, of enemy vehicles. Moves back. Uh, he could move up, but it's not good. Um, moving all the way to here. We're using the time to heal ourselves. Trying to regain a third, a third of these Devastator Marines. In the meantime, rights of war. And let's teach him a lesson. Hold position, hold position. Oh boy. Opening a new flank against the orcs. We definitely need more resources. We're 
very, very resource starved and I can see how we're far, far behind the curve. Moves up, heals himself. I just want to be in XP range. Good, we have a third Marine, Devastate the Marine which we immediately lost after dealing 8 points of damage. And we might be able to take this guy down. Not quite, but almost. Can't land there, so that's a no-no. Can't hit him. Yeah. And right here, we're seeing the strength of the orcs. He seem to have no no problem to just waltz over all of that. I don't know. He maybe didn't have all of the robots to deal with. There are still two running around here. I'm more than happy to let him deal with them. But we are in dire straits yet again. So that is fine. I'm waiting for the Librarian. And let's end the turn. We're going to lose that fortress and with it we're going to lose our pool. Lots of experience for everyone. Level up for more deeds of glory. We need to heal a bit. Um, our captain can start getting that webway gate down. And it's a problem. The orcs are going to be a massive, massive issue for us. But what's the building that generates more population? This one here. And it also requires requisition just like every other building as well so we need to get more requisition what we have going for us is we i think do have relatively well leveled uh, heroes that could make a difference And we just got the arm plate bracers. What do they do? Plus one arm more passive. Yeah, might as well claim that on the librarian. And the librarian is what kind of level? Three. Okay, cool. So we get two abilities. One, um, curses ranged weapons has a range of two hit point damage and self inflict damage. Two shockwave range one currently on all enemy units and deals damage has quite a bit of accuracy and nine attack damage that's a lot and levitate 
free action. I love free action. So we're going to take that bolter thing twice and levitation once. Okay. Yay, levitation looks good. Good. Let's. Oh, I landed him unfortunately on the worst possible spot. He will take damage there. Well done, Saiken. This is how to not do it. Okay, moving to here. Take the gate. Got a little bit of experience and a tiny bit of extra influence. Speaking about influence, this one here is not a permanent upgrade. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. He does have he does have 14 hit points. So in that case, let's purchase a couple of upgrades. I like that extra hit point regeneration. Can I get another one of those? Good. Morale of nearby units, that's fine, but I would rather... ...like to get some more armor. How much armor do we have? We have 10 armor, so more armor is not automatically good. This one here is great, specifically for... Um, ...for getting healing. One armor for 40 two armor for 80. Hmm, I don't know, how, how many, how much more do we have? Uh, not that much. I rather give him ejected as well. Another massive invasion, this time from the north. These here are humans, Astra, Mil um, Astra Mil uh, Militantium. So, I'm not sure why we're fighting against them, but that's a problem. So I guess we're just going to leave the south and are moving to the north because that sucks and I can't just let it happen. More, we need more population. Putting that up there. Five more turns and then we're getting more population and soon an orbital relay. All right, end of turn. Excuse me. That's six, seven enemies. Oh boy. And we're getting invaded yet again. All right. I would say that is a good point in time to uh, have another cliffhanger. Now, this is not going according to plan. I mean, this is war on all sides. We just overcome, uh, we just overcame all of uh, those nasty, nasty robots. But now we're being called to the north in order to defeat that fleet. Uh, and that's going to cost all of our abilities in order to do that. Hopefully, the orcs will stay put and quiet in the meantime. Well, I would say that is it for today, guys. If you enjoy Total War and particularly this really, really difficult scenario, then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.